Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my latest frame purchase from jomashop.com and my latest lens purchase from lensable.com. So I decided to go with jomashop.com as far as purchasing the frames because jomashop has the best discounted prices for real authentic Ray-Ban sunglass frames. And I got these specific frames for $95. They are the Ray-Ban Justin 51mm with the matte black frame. And I decided to go with Lensable as far as my lens purchase because they have the best discounted price also on prescription or non-prescription lenses that carry both the Transition Signature Gen 8 and the Transitions Extra Active line of lenses. And I decided to opt for the CR39 lens which is your glass lens with standard anti-glare feature and the Transitions Extra Active Red Mirror lens. And they ran me about $150, I believe, $150 to $160 because I applied a discount code. Um, so all in all, this pair of frames cost me about $250, $260, which I find is a great deal because you have not only Ray-Ban Authentic frames but you have transitions extra active red mirror lenses in them so i think that's a pretty good deal and the way it works as far as shipping the frames out to lensable so they can put the replacement lenses in them is very simple all you have to do is just complete the order on lensable.com finish your purchase and then they will email you with a shipping label so you can neatly package your frames in whatever box you have or you can opt for them to ship out um, a box for you to put your frames in them so you can ship them back to them but if you have any boxes laying around or maybe some packages that that's fine just as long as you neatly wrap the frames in bubble wrap it'll be fine so you print out the shipping label you ship them out to their location and they do have priority mail today so it will arrive at their location very quickly so they can start the job start the process and I received the lenses in about two to three weeks so that's the way it works guys for those of you who have never done this before it's very simple okay so let's get to it so this is the box that it came with from lensable let's go ahead and open it up you can see the, the case where the frames are in, provided here. And then they also include a cleaning kit, which is very good. It's very good, the spray and the cloth is very high quality. So, here's a little spray, let's see if this can focus here. A little spray, and then the cloth. So that's nice that they included that in there. For you to take care of your lenses oh and they also included a nice card in here pretty much thanking you for your purchase and for you to not hesitate if you guys have any questions or concerns to just email them and on the back side as well they have a, a little cleaning care suggestions where you should only use specific sprays and cloths for you to clean your lenses so that's nice that they include that in there but well, what we really want to see are the frames themselves okay so as you guys can see really nice case it's lined up with velvet or velvet suede type of material and here are the frames themselves the Justin's 51 millimeter and as you guys can see you guys can already see that red mirror reflection that's that the lenses are clear okay and what was also included in here are some lenses which we will talk about in a bit okay so let's go ahead and put them on I think they look pretty nice guys what do you guys think 51 millimeter I already have a pair of Ray-Ban Justin's 54 millimeter but I thought they were way too wide for my face as far as them being clear so I decided to offer the 51 and look at that look at that red reflection guys looks awesome you see the matte black frame with the Ray-Ban logo 
really cool. Okay, so luckily today is a nice warm sunny day. So we're gonna go ahead and step out so you guys can see how dark these extra active red mirror lenses get. Okay everyone, so we're out here with the sun hitting directly towards the lenses. And while they're darkening, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about these lenses that came included with my order. So I ordered the Transitions Extra Active Red Mirror and I actually received them a week later, about a week, week and a half later. But unfortunately, these lenses came with the frames. And as you guys can see, they have a purple reflection to them compared to these. These are already getting red. So I knew that they messed up on the order somehow. So I decided to message them and told them, hey, um, I think you guys provided me with the wrong type of lenses. I even included pictures. They provided excellent customer service. They said, okay, we'll take care of it. We're gonna email you a shipping label so we, so we can see it firsthand on what we did wrong. So they messaged me back and they told me, okay, we did mess up. So we're gonna provide you with the red mirror lenses and we're gonna expedite the order since we already know that you've been waiting a week and you're gonna have to wait another additional week. So I waited about, like I said, two or three weeks for these lenses to arrive. Um, but nonetheless, they provided excellent customer service and they included the original um, mistaken lenses in them. So I, I technically have two type of transitions, extra active lenses, one red mirror and one I don't know, I think they look purple. They didn't specify what type of lenses they included in them, but they look gray with sort of like a purple tint. So they didn't have to do that. They could have just discarded these lenses and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have cared at all. But that's really cool that they included the lenses knowing that they messed up. So as you guys can see, the red mirror. You guys will be able to see a little bit more when I'm inside. Uh, I think they are fully dark already. Yeah, I think they're fully dark. Okay, so let's go ahead and step back in. Okay, so here we are back inside, guys. And as you guys can see, the red mirror looks very prominent, looks very defined, it looks awesome with this specific frame. And I'm actually going to compare them to my Justin's, my sunglasses, and look, they're almost as pronounced and defined as my Justin's. And like I said, these are the 54 millimeter. And look, I mean, they're obviously not gonna get as mirror as the original sunglass lenses, but you know, it's still amazing technology. They still look great and I'm very, very satisfied with it. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to go inside the car to show you guys how dark they darken in the car. They are not going to get fully dark as they are now because of the windshield. Most windshields nowadays, they provide UV protection and that's what triggers these lenses. So let's go ahead and go out for a drive to show you guys how dark they tend. Okay guys, so here we are in the car. This is my lovely girlfriend of five years. Her name is Erica. Hi guys. Okay, so she is wearing the Transition Signature Gen 8 and I'm obviously wearing the Extra Active Red Mirror. And as you can see, there is a light tint on both lenses, but a little bit more significant on mine because mine are supposed to darken a little bit more behind the windshield. And as you can see, you can see the red mirror still quite nicely and that's at the sun is hitting directly towards the windshield pointed towards the windshield there yeah just point it so this yeah so most of the sun is hitting us from from this direction and there's still a, a pretty good dark tint to the point where it's not too bright i can still see quite fine what about you i see good yeah you see yeah, good I see fine yeah yeah the sunlight isn't too strong yeah, it's, yeah. I'm, really digging, I'm really digging that red mirror it looks really nice yeah. uh, but obviously if there's more UV light in the car such as if we, if we were to open the sunroof as you can see the sun's hitting me they're gonna get a little bit darker they're already getting dark 
Yeah, but obviously it's not it's not optimal for you to be driving with the sunroof down for the sun to be hitting you. But if you were, I'm just trying to point out that the more UV light there is in the car, the darker they get. But if there isn't UV light, if you're just uh, relying on the on the sunlight bouncing off inside the car, you're still gonna get a good tint. Yeah, yeah you look nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.